welcome to Lauren's Travels. Today I am in downtown Orlando. Had to go pick up some coffee first from Craft and Common because they are my number one coffee spot downtown. And uh, we're heading to the art museum today. I kind of feel like Carmen San Diego. There's a little bit of mystery surrounding the art museum at this time, uh, but I am going to investigate. <laughs> Now I'm not an art expert by any means, so I can't really uh, tell if things are fake or real, but that is what the conspiracy is around this certain art exhibit here at the museum. So recently, uh, 25 works of art from Basquiat, who was a pretty influential graffiti artist and also just like artist in general in the 80s. He ran around with the likes of Keith Haring and Andy Warhol. Um, so very popular influential artist who uh, tragically passed away from drug overdose. But his work is kind of rare and all of a sudden 25 works of art of his were discovered. Um, he gave them over and uh, I think he basically sold them. The exhibit opens at the art museum and the New York Times publishes an article saying that a lot of people think these works of art are fake. You can read that article. I am not gonna link it here because I stand with my city on this one. I am going to back up the Orlando Art Museum and say, I don't think that they would put fakes in the museum. Anyways, let's go check out the controversial art exhibit. This is my second visit to the art museum. I have visited before. Excuse my hair, it's very windy today. There's actually several museums in this area. There's a science museum. There's also a theater where they do have uh, plays that they perform. And there's a nice little sculpture garden right outside the museum. So I'm gonna show you that now. Can't stand too close to this one, getting a little splash back, but this is a really nice fountain that they have here called the Victory of the Winds. And then they have some more sculptures here. And of course, there we go. There is the uh, exhibit that we're gonna go see here today. It looks like it's going on till June 30th of next year. So you have plenty of time to come check out this exhibit. And of course there are several art exhibits here, but we are here to see Basquiat's. And it's actually right when you walk in. So we can go check it out. It looks pretty busy today. So the guy that Basquiat sold all of this artwork to, this is the receipt from purchase. And this is actually mentioned in the article. It's signed by his name right there with oil stick. And this kind of breaks down as a poem, the receipt for all of these paintings. So right here we have a painting called The Boxer. And a lot of these do say untitled, but then there's a, a short little uh, title for them. So I'm not sure who came up with these because none of these were titled, I don't think, by Basquiat himself. I could be wrong on that. This is another piece of artwork that you can see is on cardboard. This painting is very interesting because it has uh, milk written on it, which is, they're saying, uh, referencing Harvey Milk, which of course was an openly gay political, uh, I think he was running for mayor. Uh, I remember seeing a movie about him. And uh, yeah, Basquiat uh, did a little tribute here. You could see the H before the milk. A lot of Basquiat's artwork has the word Samo. You can see it right down here. And it basically means like same old. So in preparation for coming here, I did a read up a little bit on Basquiat because I don't really know too much about him except, you know, who he's associated with in some of his artwork. Uh, and I did read that his mom gave him a copy of Grey's Anatomy when he was in the hospital and he was sick. Uh, for a very long time and so a lot of his artwork does show uh, human anatomy in it which I thought was kind of interesting. And this says that the, where the tradition for the crown came from is to establish rankings and power among graffiti peers. So I'm sure he used lots of crowns throughout all of his art. And Basquiat uses a lot of crowns in the artwork he made. So even now when companies use artists to make clothing with their symbols, Basquiat always gets the crown. And even uh, Keith Haring, when Basquiat passed away, made a artwork that had a bunch of crowns. I'll try to put that image in here after showing this artwork.
something really striking about this artwork because even though it may like look simple the colors that he's using are so bright and vibrant and they really stand out i can definitely see this guy having his art in books which is already said he has several books but they just have that look to them and we have a whole art exhibit here for baroque art and you can see it kind of goes on throughout this room. It's a pretty big room and some of the artwork is pretty large too. And if you haven't seen my video that I recently did at the Ringling, there's also tons of art in that video. So if you are an art appreciator like me, you may want to check out that video because some of those pieces are also fantastic. Even the frames that a lot of this artwork is in are so intricate. I want to show this one that's coming up because it caught my eye. <laughs> and this one is from the 16th century. Look at this. Wow. I like this one here with the frame coming into the photo. That looks so cool. And then they have a Georgia O'Keeffe here, which if you know, you know, I don't need to explain. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty cool. 1932. Wow, look at this. How many different things can you find in here? <laughs> this is crazy. I bet this weighs a ton too. So interesting. All the different birds and flowers on it. They also have this uh, board here where you can put how you feel by looking at it. <laughs> and someone just says, crying. <laughs> you can even see me. <laughs> and if you have any questions about the art museum, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer them as best as I can. Uh, but I think this makes for a great afternoon to just check out some artwork, especially that new Basquiat exhibit, and uh, take in the art. It's really not that crowded here, even though there's quite a few people looking at the exhibits, but it's also a really pretty museum. You can actually see downtown Orlando uh, through these giant windows that they have, so it makes for a nice visit, I think. Uh, so yeah. Let's go see if there's anything else to see in the museum before we head out. It looks like there's another exhibit here where it's a bunch of uh, artifacts and art from Central America. You can see everything's in a glass case so we can kind of get up a close a little bit here. And automatically, I'm drawn to this gold. These are nose rings. Oof, my nose would hurt. <laughs> Oh, and look at this teeth mouthpiece here. And this definitely reminds me of my anthropology class that I took in college, one of my favorite classes. And I actually have a friend, uh, Angelica, who studies anthropology, so I'm sure she would like this exhibit a lot. Ooh, I like this bat vessel. He's cute. And because uh, we handle videos and cameras all day, I had to show this one. This looks like a Ritter View camera. It has a universal on the front there. <laughs> but look at this. Imagine lugging this around to take videos or pictures with. That's kind of too much for me. <laughs> I like my camera right here on my phone. These guys are using the camera. It takes months to develop. So his photos he takes from that giant camera look like this. What? When was this made? I need to know. 1991. That's really impressive. Like you would have never guessed that that huge camera can take like this kind of quality, even though they're in black and white, but you can still tell that there's so much detail in these photos. This was from 1994. 
And of course, what makes it extra special is that all these photos are in Florida. <laughs> so this one, for example, is from Boynton Beach. That's, that's close to where I grew up. That's awesome. And of course, there is a gift shop. Here are some Basquiat specific items here. And you can actually get the catalog for $40. There's a giant Basquiat book here. Look at how big that is. And I've got a really pretty scarf too. And then I did see this when I first walked in. So you can get um, one of these special corksicle Basquiat cups or uh, Tervises here <laughs> uh, for $20 when you purchase your admission, which is also $20, so about a $40 value. There's also a cup, which I cannot bring any more of home because I have way too many, and perfumed candles. Let's see if they smell good. I like There's also socks and scarves and shirts and mugs and all the things you can think of to purchase as a souvenir. I might have to get one of these shirts. And it was also really cool because the gift shop was selling a book that had artwork in it from Anne Shen, who I just met at Epcot for their Festival of the Arts. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll also link that here. There's a lot of fun artsy videos I have done recently, so tons to catch up on if you've missed it. I had a really good time today learning a little bit more about Basquiat the person and also seeing some of his art up close. I ended up getting a souvenir in the gift shop of this tote bag which was actually artwork that he made after meeting Andy Warhol for the first time. Feel free to leave me any questions about my visit down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed for more Orlando content and I will see you next time on Lauren's Travels.